two things that I will not condone, a liar or a thief. Well, I think one of the best experiences I've had in the towing industry, you have the networking to get to the bottom of anything. Hey there, Tone Enthusiasts. Welcome to the Tow Success Channel, where we're all about towing all the time. I could be more excited with this episode, where I get the pleasure of catching up with a longtime friend and Hall of Famer, Dennis Brewer of Brewers Towing in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So grab a pen and a pad of paper. You're going to want to take notes. There's some good information here. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you'd be kind and willing, would you like us, subscribe to us, and recommend us? Thank you very much. And so now, on with the show. This is it. Enjoy. What I like the most about being in the business, you can work as hard as you want to and as often as you want to, and uh, uh, you can achieve whatever you want to do. Uh, so if there's any secret to success, it's having the right equipment, working hard, and having the right people work for you. Because the older I get, the more I realize that uh, uh, one guy can't do it by himself. You have to learn to work smarter too while you're working harder. And smarter might be having the right equipment, to do the job, you have to have, absolutely have to have a good record keeping system. Our employees are all issued invoices, both for cash calls and cars that are towed into our facility or towed somewhere else. There's a paper trail for every call. Uh, they have to have a piece of paperwork for everything. The, Call number has to be on it and it has to match up with the invoice number on the paper. It goes in the computer. You need to know where your dollars are made and you need to know where they're spent. So there has to be a good tracking of the dollars and the paperwork. And that all starts out with honest and employees. You have to have the right people working for you that know every call, you charge the same price and uh, there has to be a tow ticket for every call run. I tell people there's two things that I will not condone, a liar or a thief. That will get you out of the door of this place faster than you can run out of it. Because if they can't be honest with me, I don't need them. Uh, they make a good living working for us and uh, uh, they have plenty of benefits like uh, 401k, paid time off, health pay, I mean uh, uh, vacation pay, holiday pay, free uniforms, so uh, uh, they don't need to have all my cash, 100% of a call. That does not work, so a uh, tracking system and a, a paper system is very important to have. If people are going to work for motor clubs is what people have to do is they need to figure out their cost of operation before they sign on the line. Because it's easy for you to realize that you're subsidizing somebody else's habit. They're collecting the money, sitting behind the desk, and you're doing all the work and losing money in some of the cases. And you're providing the service, but yeah. Might not be the best one for you. So know your uh, cost before you start doing it, is what I would say. And there are some great motor clubs, there are, that, uh, that expect a good job and they'll pay a reasonable price for it. And, uh, and looking for a new employee, when we're looking for an employee, I don't care if they've had any experience or not. Quite often, we can make a better tow driver out of somebody that's never been a tow truck operator to the fact that we can teach them the way that we want it done our way. We don't need any bad habits and uh, it's harder to correct a bad habit than it is to teach a guy that's got a little mechanical ability and the desire to work 
When I'm looking for somebody, one of the first questions I ask them, are you looking for a career or are you looking for a job? And if they're looking for a job, I'm not interested in them because usually that will tell me that when I look at their resume. They work six months and they're gone, eight months and they're gone. I want the guy that's worked for five years or four years and got laid off or something that wants to work. I want a career type employee and uh, uh, the guy that's not afraid to work, guy that likes to work with his hands. When I, when I hire a person, I want to make sure that when they get on our staff, that they understand that safety is the number one thing. Not only their safety, the way they park their truck, the way they protect themselves. We have uh, high-vis uniforms that we wear it all the time. I want to make sure that they're in the proper uniform that we provide for them. Uh, and they have to protect the customer. They need to make sure if the customer is outside of the vehicle, they're not standing anywhere near the traffic, and uh, they have to be a safe driver. They make a good living, they can be proud of what they do at the end of the day, they, if they like to help people. Uh, I've had people get as much as a hundred dollar tip. Fifty dollar tips are happen quite regularly. Sometimes you don't get a penny. Well, I think one of the best experiences I've had in the towing industry, helping people that are in distress, is a great thing to do. Uh, uh, there's a great satisfaction when you can get somebody out of a predicament that they're in and get them on their way, get them, let them get their trip finished. And then working with new employees. That when an employee comes in and tells me he got a nice tip that day, that means I know he was doing his job the way we ask him to do it. Properly, promptly, customer in, in mind at all times, and uh, uh, they feel that they got a, a, a fair job. Uh, I would have to say the towing business is not any different than any other business. You get out of it what you put into it. And I, I think that any business anybody wants to enter into, if they put their heart and soul into it, they'll have whatever they want, you know. Uh, there's benefits of it, there's hardships of it. I know in my next life I would never have a 24-hour day, 365 day out of the year business. I would get, I'd streamline that a little bit. Not that I'm afraid of work. But uh, uh, when I started my business, October 1, 1963, I uh, worked the first eight years, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And people say, how could you do that? Well, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I did. Uh, with a lot of help from my wife. At night, she would answer the phone, wake me up and tell me I got a call to go on. And, uh, uh, I opened my business at 7 a.m., I closed it at 10, and I did my paperwork either before I went home at night or I'd go in early and do it in the morning. So uh, the towing business has been good to me, I will tell you that, but I've worked awful hard at making it be good for me and my family.